hey guys it's your girl lex and i'm back in again with another video and so today i am going to be getting ready i'm gonna be doing something a little different i have never done like a get ready with me or like a chit chat get ready with me on this channel in a long time like i've done one before but it was like over a year ago i thought why not sit down talk to you guys as i get ready because i'm going out tonight for a dinner it's gonna be lit i'm not gonna be talking about like what i'm doing to my hair and my makeup i'm just gonna be answering you guys' questions that you sent me on instagram and if you aren't following me on instagram i actually have a new instagram name i know so my new instagram name will be somewhere on the screen it is miss lex tv we certified now y'all period period hey love if this is your first time seeing my face welcome to lex tv my name is alexis but you can call me lex don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we want to see you come back we want to see you join the familia and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time that i upload a new video so let's get this get ready with me started guys if i keep looking down it's because my mirror is right here but yeah all right so we about to tackle this hair yeah i know it looks a little messed up right now but we gonna fix it so i know i look crazy i look woo. so the first question i was asked was how do you handle stress in college and i think this is such a good question college is stressful okay it's very stressful everything is just happening all at once you have to figure it out like mostly on your own like yes you do have help but like it's just it's a crazy time i would say my main way to handle stress is to pray and to talk to god and to read my bible i can't stress enough how amazing it feels to be reassured about like your worries and your anxiety and everything that causes you stress when you just talk to god and you know read your bible because i know like in the past i used to just stress myself out to just no end and i wouldn't even pray about it i wouldn't talk to god about it or anything and i found that it just stressed me out even more i uh, i would suggest praying reading your bible talking to god um but also being surrounded by people who are either either doing what you want to do have the same mindset as you or is as goal oriented as you are because i know that having the right company around you can definitely impact how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis so that's how i deal with stress just talking to god keep a good company around me praying uh and literally walking by faith like literally because it's like it's all you know it's all cool when we say yeah walk by faith not by sight but when you're stressed out like you really got to do it like you really just got to give it to god and just let him do what he was supposed to do in the first place you know because i always find that stress is really just not that big of a deal like it's like the things that i'm stressing out about they just end up working itself out and guess what i stress myself out for nothing next question what is your favorite christmas movie y'all this is such a hard question because i love christmas and i love christmas movies it's either between this christmas and home alone 
because those are probably the two I watch the most. I I think I'm gonna go with Home Alone. Home Alone is that movie. I love you, Chris. I love you, Chrissy. Chris Brown is actually my birthday twin, if you didn't know. May 5th, period. The next question is, what are the pros and cons to having friends in college? And this question, girl, this question is very loaded because um, friends in college can be, it can be really a blessing in disguise, but it can also be a lesson learned. Having friends in college, it's like you really have people to just do everything with like a con is they may feel neglected when you may meet new people and i want you to know that that's not real friends because a real friend like i'm gonna be here for you regardless no matter who your other friends are or whatever and you know some people can be intimidated by other people coming into the mix and stuff when it was supposed to just be y'all two the next question is sum up your freshman year in five words Ugh. fun exciting stressful uh successful i don't I, it's worth it i mean that's not one word but i would just say i want to say worth it like i know it's a phrase but i'm gonna just put it in there because uh like, my freshman year was really fun. Like, it was really fun. It was exciting. Uh, it was very successful. Definitely worth it. But uh, it was definitely hard, you know. Uh, just being on my own for the first time. And just really, like, knowing what it's like to not have mom and dad just, like, you know at your beck and call all right so the next question is would you rather lose your ability to read or would you rather lose your ability to speak and hands down i'm losing my ability to read because guess what you can read you can learn how to read again like not being able to speak like i honestly could not imagine because like what am i doing right now i'm expressing myself you know and, and like i just i just would go crazy so, I definitely lose the ability to read because I can, uh, I can learn how to read again. So, yeah. That's the tea. This is not tea, but you get the picture. Period. Pity at poo. Hey, poo. Pity it. Hey, pity it. Poo. So, the next question is, why did you choose your major? And I think this is such a good question because I don't think I get asked this question a lot. I've always wanted to like say why I'm a psychology major. So if you didn't know, I'm a psychology major. And uh, I just think mental health is just, it's not discussed. It's not learned. It's just, it's kind of just pushed to the side. And I just don't think that is what it should be and i feel like the only reason it's really getting publicity now and i hate to make it sound that way but i feel like the only reason it's getting publicity is because of all these school shootings and you know they see that it's linked to mental health and uh that this person is crazy and they've been like this their whole life and you know turns out they may have this or they may have that or so on and so forth but uh, I am a psychology major because I want to change uh, the way of the future. I want to work with kids. I feel like just speaking from a person who has gone through anxiety and depressive states, when I was a kid, I just didn't, I really, I didn't know what was going on. And I want to be that outlet for a child or a teenager to express themselves to me and be able to really get down to the bottom of why they're feeling the way that they're feeling. That's why I'm a psychology major. Nothing too extravagant, nothing too fancy, but I know that we're going to need psychologists, we're going to need therapists. This world is crazy and these people is crazy and they need us to help figure out what's going on. And that's the tea, sister.
period what are your current three favorite songs let me tell you stop ride or die by Megan Thee Stallion is literally my fame song. Ride or Die by Megan Thee Stallion, High and Lifted by The Walls Group, Fact or Fiction by Jacquees. Top three. What is my favorite thing about Bowie? Uh, I would say my favorite thing about Bowie is just people here are really, really nice and I think that's really important to have at your school. The next question is, what do I feel is the biggest difference between HBCU and a PWI? And I think hands down, it's just the experience of an HBCU. Like, you can't get an HBCU experience anywhere else. And uh, PWIs, you know, like they don't celebrate black culture as much as HBCUs do because it's like this is where you know we can be ourselves and we can you know just be free and be us and I think that's just so cool you know you don't really get a lot of spaces like that in the real world you know and I just think HBCU experiences are just one of a kind I think that's the big significance between a PWI and a HBCU. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so, 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 so much for getting ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a cool chit chat, get ready with me, do my hair, do my makeup, all that. And now we want to go out and have some fun. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. But I really, really do. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified every time that I upload a new video. Come and join the family because, you know, we love you over here. Period. Bye, love. <laughs>